Hey folks, David here on the Vintage Future once again, and today I want to just give you a patina update on these Clinch Engineer boots. It's been a couple years of wear, and as you can tell, I wear them pretty hard. I'm trying not to like, you know, destroy them or anything, but I wear them pretty hard. Like of, of all my boots, like I wear these probably harder than most of them. Um, they're like my kick around boots, if you will. The T-Core thing is really going on. With these, this is Merriam Horsebutt Overdyed Black. I think they are amazing. So, yeah, uh, they still read as black, like when you're wearing them, when you see them from far away. But yeah, up close, you can tell tons of that T-Core effect, that brown coming through in a real big way, especially on the heel. Yeah, and the edge dressing was black. These were like totally blacked out, and it's all wearing away after a couple years. But they're still holding up nicely. I do love a beautiful, well-taken-care-of, clean engineer boot. So, like, Jake, almost vintage style. I love, love, love looking at his boots. They're so gorgeous. But for me, the reason I got Clinch was Minoru Matsuro, the owner, kept posting these photos of his engineers and jawed person stuff that he wears in his workshop and they were just like totally beat and vintage looking it's like that gnarly old boot look and that's what i fell in love with so i'm glad i got these and that's why i kind of wore them this way i try to wear each boot like the way that it's asking to be worn if you will like like if it's a rugged boot i'm gonna wear it rugged if it's nice i'm gonna keep it nice like try to like draw out of it what what it's asking to display to the world, you know? So, anyways. Um, yeah, and this looks a little funny on this boot. It's not on the other one, but the way this one creased, it's it's kind of cool, you know? But at the same time, this ended up looking a little weird. But I'm sure that'll all kind of change, like, as things even out over time. It's just all from natural wear, you know? But I do love the horse butt rolls. Those rolls are awesome. I think I get more because I have such a skinny foot, so there's, like, all this extra material. And then, uh, yeah, it's starting to get some holes up in here, like, at the welt. But nothing really bad. I don't think that's going to, like, compromise a, a re-welt or whatever. I think that's just all part of it. So, yeah. Those are cool. Let's check out the other one. Check out my other video, the initial one. I'll put the link in the description below. Like if you if you want all the details of sizing and how I got them and all this stuff. But this one's just supposed to be like a patina update. Yeah. On this one, the shaft is like all T-coring hardcore. It's like turning brown. Yeah. They're, they're not quite as comfortable as... My Benzines, my Bristle Black Engineers, those ones fit me a little better. The, this CN Last is is fine, but it's not like the best for my foot. But yeah, it's been working out. And then, and then I like hardly wear the Roll Clubs. Like the Roll Clubs are an amazing boot, even despite some of the initial sloppy quality control, which is not usually what you get from Brian the Bootmaker. But then the Chrome XL stretched out, and like I couldn't wear them anymore. It's like they were, they just didn't fit well. So I wear these, and I wear my bristle black ones, and those are my engineers. So I got this black pair, and I got those as a brown pair. So yeah, anyways, this is what you can expect if you put like quite a lot of wear on some T-Core Clinch horse butt boots. And they've got miles and miles left. Yeah, like the soles. I love these soles. They have performed very well in all conditions. And they're kind of hard wearing. So, like, they've got a lot of life left in them. Like, for sure, the heel drag is... The heel drag is real, folks. But I'm not going to have to replace this heel cap for, yeah, still quite a while. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, nice toe spring here. On both of them, actually. Unstructured toe. I like that look. Not everyone does. But yeah. Let your boots take your places more important than the boots themselves.